Hi guys, this is just a short video with an update of what I'm working on right now. Since it was a lot of snow and uh, it was quite cold, I did not do any work on my house. It's pretty much the same in the same state as it was uh, on my last video. And um, since I had this uh, free time, I decided to build a programmable BMS battery management system. Uh, for any type of rechargeable lithium batteries. I'm mostly interested in uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries it's, since this is what I will use to store solar and wind energy on my house. And um, I just got the, the PCBs yesterday, uh, a bit late in the days, and I decided to start assembly the components last night. Uh, it, it was quite a pain since the main IC was uh, has a, a really small pitch about uh, it, it is 0 0.4 millimeters so uh, it's really much much worse than a 0 0.5 millimeter pitch that I have on the, on the microcontroller but uh, it's the only option for this chip uh, unfortunately um, this main IC has an integrated 14 bit uh, ADC and MOSFET drivers, overcurrent protection, and can monitor up to 8 cells. And 14-bit uh, ADC means that I can uh, have great resolution for, for voltage and current. The um, microcontroller is a 32-bit ARM, and the smaller chip is the DC-DC converter. It's a great little converter with high efficiency at uh, low loads. It's a bit expensive, but uh, it's a really great uh, converter. Uh, the rest are a bunch of passives, some uh, small MOSFETs for cell balancing. There is a daylight readable LCD and a micro SD card that I will use for uh, data storage and eventually uh, custom parameter settings. Um, I mostly done the hardware up to now. I still have a lot of work on the on the software. I just started uh, to to do some um, LCD uh, driver and uh, not, not not much else. I will probably start working on the uh, on the house again. So not sure when will this be ready. Um, there will be another two boards, one uh, on an aluminium substrate for on the bottom for the power MOSFETs, um, a current shunt and some passives. And uh, the other board that will be on the top, a sort of um, front panel with capaci capacitive touch buttons. And both of these boards will be connected with some uh, small SMD connectors, just 3.2 millimeter high. So the entire device will be quite slim. Uh, the large connector has a rating of, a rating of 20 amps per connection. So um, I will be able to have a 40 amp discharge and 20 amp charge or vice versa. Uh, you will be able to set this with a, with a small jumper. I will probably need a 40 amp charge and uh, I don't care much about the discharge. 20 amp it's more than enough for me since I will use them uh, as uh, solar chargers. Uh, here are some uh, measurements for the power consumption. Sorry for the quality of the, the video. It was uh, late and I uh, didn't have good lighting. And um, I'm quite happy with the results. And uh, it's uh, as expected around 700 microamps when uh, it's connected to an 8 cell lithium uh, iron battery, so about 25 volts. And with the backlight on, it's 1.6 or 2.4 milliamp, depending on the backlight setting. Uh, I will try to build uh, 100 or 200 pieces to sell. Not sure how much uh, interest will be for this type of product. Not many people use a lithium battery for solar even if they uh, are the most cost effective but anyway hope to keep the price under 100 dollar 
uh, my target it's about $89 but uh, I will need to add a larger microcontroller so I can use an external clock oscillator for keeping uh, time more accurately. The internal 40 kHz regulator doesn't seem to be accurate enough for me. It can have a few minutes per month error and it's not accurate enough so then the frequency will vary with the temperature and then it, since it's an RC uh, resonator so it's it's really not good enough. Th uh, time will be needed to uh, for time stamps on data acquisition. This is all for uh, for this video or slideshow mostly. Hope I will get more time in the future for YouTube videos. It will be quite a busy year with me mov moving off grid. So um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I will try to answer. I will not give details about the exact components I used for now, but um, as soon as I will sell enough to get back my investment, I will make this probably an uh, open source project. So you will be able to to have access to uh, the schematic PCB and uh, and the software. But uh, that's it for now. Bye.